Basketball and former 36er Julius Hodge could be charged with bringing the game into disrepute after an explosive night at the Dome. Hodge had the last laugh on his former employers as the Tigers came from behind to win by three in overtime and says he has no regrets about insulting Sixers legend Brent Maher. These are the pictures the NBL has requested. Julius Hodge celebrates victory by stamping on Brett Maher's signature, angering Sixers players and fans. And I don't find that at all appealing. <laughs> that's disrespectful. You know, that says it all, doesn't it? You know, nothing, nothing really needs to be said. We like uh, to always try to represent ourselves with class, and sometimes it's easier to say that than do that. The NBL is also investigating whether Hodge spat on the name of the club's greatest player, as Sixers players and staff took exception to his post-match celebrations. Ben Fitz, the uh, LA 36 CEO, is just... Got himself out onto the floor. There's no need for this. I'd probably want to say sorry to Adelaide and especially Brett Maher. But the man himself has no regrets, saying he'd step on Maher's name again and again and that he'll make a personal effort to go out and destroy the Sixers every time he plays in Adelaide. Hodge had missiles hurled at him as he left the court and needed assistance from Sixers management to leave the stadium. Brett Maher was at the game, but today declined to comment. Hodge had endured deafening boos whenever he touched the ball, and while not having his best night, he had his moments. His emotions threatening to spill over all evening. And now it is definitely on. But it was the home side that looked drained in overtime. The Sixers missing a vital chance to shore up their position at the top end of the table. I certainly felt we had the momentum and, and, and should have gone on with it. Dion Heyman, Nine News.